So you have basically five minutes to turn to your family, your kids, your grandkids, and say to them, here's my advice on life. Doesn't have to be just business, but you just look to them and say, here's what I've learned that I wanna leave with planet Earth, my kids, my family, my friends, and the population before I go to Mars. Uh, what would your three, four, five minute speech say? Don't limit yourself. Fun, fun is accomplishing the impossible. Don't put, don't set boundaries for yourself. Allow yourself to fly and think and dream as high as you possibly can. Make it happen. Go chase it because there's no stopping you. If you really want something, you can accomplish whatever you want. I am a living example of that. I first came to this country. I was literally panhandling, you know, had no money, sleeping on a newspaper on the sidewalk. And I have got to a point that I'm uh, extremely happy and content with what I have accomplished. And if I can do that, anybody can do that. But you have to really be passionate and dedicated to that. So fun is to accomplish the impossible that's my motto and that's what i would tell everyone so to, for i understand that when you say fun you're saying reprogram your mind to be disciplined when it's hard you go no this is fun because the result is going to be right. amazing because most people i read a scientific study that said like 70 percent of people give up after one time it not working out like 80 percent after two and almost 90 percent of the world gives up after three failures because they don't have the discipline. Maybe that's what, is that what you're saying? It's like, no, this is fun. Even though it's failing, we see it as fun because then we'll eventually get it. Edison tried the, the electric light, right? Electric lamp, a thousand different ways. You can see that it's a thousand different things, but it's not. He did every possible way and eventually got the light going because he just believed that he was gonna find a way to do it. And then, you know, for me, it's the same thing. I mean. It's, Fun is to accomplish the impossible. When people say hard, but that can't be done. Ah, I got to do it. That's what I'm at. That's what tickles me to say, you know, wait a minute. It can't be done. It has, you haven't found a way to do it yet, but let's make it happen. So for me, the challenge of going against the grain is what gets me excited. You know, um, I heard someone say one time that the quality of your life is directly related to the level of uncertainty you can comfortably live with. I've learned to live on the edge. I learned to kind of push myself. It's not quite sure and this and that, but let's make it happen. One of my kids, when he was very young, told me one time, they dad, when, when God pushes you off the cliff, he's, what I gotta, he's either gonna catch you on the way down or give you wings and teach you how to fly. So at this stage of my life right now, I see a cliff, I run and jump. <laughs> because I'm, I can't wait to take a chance for the next big project. I, I'm just, you know, I want to do it. I want to make it happen. I want to accomplish the impossible. You know, this whole idea, ridiculous idea of winning the Nobel Prize, it's not my ego that wants to win Nobel Prize. It's because if I can get to a point like this, it means that the whole medical community and the people in general have understood that through a proper eating habit, through a healthy way of eating, you can improve your health. And that, you know, it will be a great recognition and reward to, to kind of recognize Uncle Carlos' work. That's why I'm doing that. It's all through him because he's the one that taught me what I know. And I think this message on, it, on healthy eating is so valuable. It's indeed the most valuable thing you have. You know, if you don't have health, what the heck? You know, you got nothing. Health is the first wealth. You can have all the money in the world. You know, that, you know a lot of people that are very wealthy, they spend their whole life making a lot of money. And on the end, they spend all their money trying to recoup their health, their health, recoup their health. It doesn't work. You have to think about health first. Do whatever you have to do, but don't overlook your health.